Let's play the game. <laughs> All right, at long last, the newlywed game. That's right. Okay. Well, the second thing about Moses that really stood out to me in this episode was his competitiveness to Ethan. So see what you what you can pick up in this segment. The camera is not really on Moses all the time, but pay attention to what happens, and we're gonna just kind of break it down. I guess it's for everybody. Um, <laughs> who is the best cook in the relationship? <laughs> Easy. Yeah. All right. Go ahead and reveal. Me. Uh, ne- <laughs> Trisha said neither. Neither. Okay, so. Oh, you guys got it wrong! Okay. There's two things going on in this clip right now. But we're going to pay attention to one thing. And so again, this is who's the better cook in the relationship. Now we see that Ela and Ethan both agree that it's Ethan. And we see that Trisha says neither. She didn't even say she's the better cook. She didn't say Moses. She said neither, as in none of them are the best cook. And it's interesting that Moses said he was the best cook in the relationship. He said, I am. Oh, yeah. Well, we'll see about that, Moses. Oh, oh what wow. Did say? He on. said, I am. A bait. Well, that, well, to be <laughs> honest. Now, did you catch that? Trisha said, Babe, you never cooked once. Mm. Okay, why? This is interesting. How could someone that's never cooked once for Trisha consider himself the best cook in a relationship? Hmm, let's see. Trisha, that wasn't the no, but, question. But that's but not he, fair because we didn't have time yet for her to experience babe, my you've cooking. Never... At this point, they are engaged. They live together at this point. And Trisha said that he has never cooked for her and he agrees. And he's saying he is the better cook. And it's just that she hasn't had the chance to experience his cooking. Well, how much longer is she supposed to wait? Cooked one time. <laughs> Moses says he's good. He I don't think for you. I cook butter I don't noodles think... breakfast. And she's just saying she's the one who does the cooking. And she doesn't even consider herself a good cook. She's the one that does the cooking, if out of the two of them. And she still put neither, as in she doesn't even think she's a good cook. Whereas Moses thinks he's a good cook, yet he doesn't cook for her. Ew. I, I don't think I've ever seen him cook. Ever. Oh my goodness. And look at Ela backing up Trisha. Y'all, like I said, I pick and choose when I believe Trisha, and I believed her at this point that Moses has never cooked for her because Moses didn't defend himself. And on top of that, now we see Ela jumping in like, I haven't seen this guy cook one time. That's his little sister. I have seen my brothers cook before. I know my brothers know how to cook, and I've tried their cooking before. <laughs> it's not even that Ela said her brother cooked for her and it's horrible. She's saying she's never even seen him pick up a pot and pan. Yeah, okay, so what? What, what have you cooked, Moses? You better start cooking. <laughs> Ethan. <laughs> uh, Ethan, 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 this is not going to go well for you. <laughs> I'm a good cook. He just says, I'm a good cook. Says who? You can't just declare yourself a good cook. Someone has to tell you you are a good cook. You have to have some kind of witness. We see Ela is there as a witness for Ethan. Moses, where's your witness? Because right now, Trisha is saying you don't cook, and Ela is saying she never seen you cook. So why should we believe you? You need evidence. I'm a good cook. To General. justify that. Your sister. But how is she supposed to know that? Never... Yeah. How is my sister going to see me cook? <laughs> what do you mean, how is your sister going to see you cook? I know she's really younger than him. No, 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 no. Because you guys hung out since you guys both been in the States. Tell me, just because you're in her house, you can't even pick up the pot and cook something for the family? By that point, they said you're in the house like every weekend. So you're not even like a guest there. You're like the family. Go cook something for somebody. So at least they could say you know how to cook. 
You just sit there and eat while still wanting the title of being a good cook. It doesn't work that way. Nope, you have to prove it to someone, somewhere, somehow. Babe, nobody cooks at our, what the hell? All right. Because even if Ela didn't know, but not even your, your fiance knows that you're a good cook. Okay, I get it. If you're going to say, how could Ela know? Okay, fine. Well, how come your fiance doesn't even know you're a good cook? That's what I'm saying. That's one point, Ethan and Ella. Let's go. I just storm off after this episode. Divorce, <laughs> divorce. You're going was, straight to the kitchen. I like, if you don't even realize this, but Ethan and Ella like pile on Moses. <laughs> they pile on Moses. And then Trisha is right on their side piling on Moses. Now tell me, do you think Moses likes that dynamic? Hmm? He's the odd man out. <laughs> But it's not over yet, folks. It's Who me. was yours? You are? You want to you say okay. anything about that, uh, Ela? Ethan is a chef, and that's all I have to say. Thank you. <laughs> Wait, I love you. A chef? I love you. <laughs> Ten years. Wow, mic drop. Ela doesn't even have to convince us. She doesn't even have to, like, use examples. She doesn't have to plead. She just said what she said, and she was like, that's it. Cut the mic. That's all I need to say. This is the thing. Ethan is not like, I'm a good cook. I'm a good cook. He just let Ela speak for him and he's just like, done. That's it. That's all that needs to be said. <laughs> That's how I know Ethan is a good cook. He has his witness and he doesn't even need to add into it or justify or anything. He's just, it is what it is. Very confident. You go, Ethan. <laughs> I've never seen you cook anything like on TikTok or Instagram stories. In Trisha's head, if it doesn't happen on the internet, it never happened. So she's like, well, how come I don't see you cooking on the internet? <laughs> Trisha's something else. Well, I don't, He's, I don't post yeah. it. Wait, I just cook for like, family. I just, I, it's not a big deal. I just cook He'll for just ask me, like, what do you feel like? And I'll be like, I don't know, uh, Alfredo sauce with uh, oh. peas. And oh. he's just like, okay. And he just figures it out. Like, he doesn't even look up a recipe. I don't know how Oh, my God. That. That's yeah. Boom, that's how you know this man is a chef right there. That's how you know this man is a cook right here. He doesn't even need a recipe. He's just all like a little bit of this and a little bit of that. I believe, Ela. It's actually very, especially Alfredo sauce. That's so hard. And watch Trisha bigging up Ethan right now. Okay, the only thing I didn't like about this episode is they barely, they barely had the camera on Moses. There's so many things that were going on that I wanted to see Moses' reaction. But there's even some times where they don't even cut to Moses. Moses is answering a question and they don't even show you his answer. Like <laughs> for the, the episode, this is the one guy that, who we don't see a lot, which I would have loved to have seen him more on the show. This one episode, just show him more because we don't see him at all. <laughs> and, and even when he's answering questions, they barely cut to him. But I just want you guys to know right now that Trisha is just really laying it on thick to Ethan right now over her man that doesn't even cook, hasn't even cooked in front of her. And I would want to have seen the look on Moses' face, but I can only guess that it wasn't a good look. It's like that phony like smile, you know, that's not real. That's not real. It's he it makes like a quiche without even looking up a recipe. What? I don't know how you do that. Boom. Once I heard that, I'm like, yo, this guy. This guy by the name of Ethan, I was like, whoa, that man can make a quiche that sealed the deal. Even look, Trisha's impressed. Trisha knows food and Trisha is impressed. <laughs> look at Ethan. <laughs> he's all like, all, all shucks. Like, he's not even speaking up. He's just like, hey, it just is what it is. Oh. Yeah. Well, thank you. Ila. Wow. Okay. I, that... just, I know what Ela likes, and I kind of like have a few things that I can. You do. deserve that point, thank babe. You. <laughs> you never cooked once. I don't but know. But the thing where is, but the from. thing is, oh, Trisha, Trisha's digging into Moses. Well, Ela's not very particular. We didn't have the time for that. You think Moses can back down and just kind of realize, okay, I, I haven't yet once cooked for the girl I was hooking up with, which changed into the girl that was my girlfriend, which changed into the person now who is my fiance. Never once cooked for her, but is still insisting he's a good cook and there wasn't enough time for him to show her how much of a good cook he is. Trisha loves food. She enjoys her food. Like Ethan enjoys his food. And if you, Moses, are a good cook, 
you would think, hey, let me cook for you. It says a lot that Moses has never cooked for her before. And she's making a big deal out of it. And he's saying, oh, we, we, we never had any time for it. We never had any time. She liked butter noodles. You couldn't cook her butter noodles one night. Instead of having her like salt up the butter noodles, you couldn't just show her a different way to make butter noodles. It, 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 look, Ela's very particular, <laughs> yeah. so I have to cook for her. Otherwise, she wouldn't eat. If it, if we if it was up to me, we'd be eating pizza every night. So <laughs> don't worry about it. <laughs> we All love right. pizza. <laughs> oh, damn. So this one, uh, this one might. So yeah, just that little protesting from um, Moses. He didn't want to look like the person that didn't know how to cook, especially when he like straight up thought that he was the better cook and like nobody's there to confirm it for him and yet everybody's giving these praises to ethan i already said that i think that he's jealous of ethan and it's like he was just sitting there watching ethan get all this praise over something he feels he's good at as well you're not as good as ethan kind of thing you know always oh, number two but we're gonna come back to this question in a bit because there's something else that stuck out to me <laughs> he told me he invented the photography that takes pictures of water. He told me that too. Do you think it's real? I, I he seems to have a proprietary technique. I, I've never seen it. Yes, I'm the only one anywhere else. He's, he's, or I mean, I, I don't think he invented the concept of photographing water, but I I've never seen. No, he did. That's like what that. he said. No, no, I did. He's I the did. only one that. Oh, you're the. F oh well, well. <laughs> I mean, I'm not a historian. What do I know? <laughs> I'll take him at his word. Anyways. I think right. as I've never seen photographs like the one he takes, but I don't, I don't, that's a big claim to say you invented <laughs> Yeah, it's a big water. invention too. 